It's a day their people will never forget. For the first time, Samoa hosted the All Blacks, a testament to the growth and success of the game in this rugby-obsessed nation. The Samoa has been waiting for this geez, since rugby was even invented. You know. For me, it's, it's pretty deep. Um, growing up in Samoa, I had family members, you know, playing for Samoa and so I guess my first love for, for the game of rugby um, was to, to pull on the blue jersey. Grew up watching Manu Samoa uh, with the old man waking up in the, the early mornings uh, especially, uh, when they played in that 91 World Cup so that was uh, one of my earliest memories of, of the Manu Samoa and, the, and you know, it still means a lot to me. For Samoa players itself um, in Samoa, being in Samoa it's, it's huge for the villagers. Uh, my wee village in, in, in Savai'i, Lano they'll be celebrating. The opportunity to express themselves really, you know, for, for those kids in the villages. I know for me, growing up in Samoa, being born in Samoa, um, that's what I used to do, you know. We used to play rugby with a twig, you know, back at school and, you know, all of a sudden I'm in New Zealand catching a real rugby ball. So I guess that's where I get my good hands from, you know, because if I miss the twig, I get it in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> it made us really proud, you know, knowing um, you know what they, they could achieve and what they could do on the world stage, and uh, gave us a, you know us at home and the ones in Samoa a lot of belief that um, you know if we put our mindset you know anything we could achieve in you know, our dreams and uh, it was a really proud moment seeing our people, um, especially with the resources that they had. Uh, they didn't have much, um, but they went out there on the world stage and gave it their best and, and really represented the whole country. With a country like ours here um, and, and the passion that we have for rugby. It's nothing compared to, to the passion that the people of, of Samoa. You know, we're like the modern day warrior uh, when, we, when we go out on that, on that field. And um, I think it's just, it's just in our nature that, you know, when we take that field, we're real aggressive and that physicality is a big part of our game. Seeing the All Blacks in Samoa itself, it's, you know, I'll be emotional and I'll be proud of, of the boys in blue uh, playing against the All Blacks and I know they'll live their best uh, for the country, for their families as well. So it's going to be, you know, hugely emotional. Um, we're trying to calm down for a few of our see how we go, but uh, I'm sure it's, um, yeah, it's going to be massive. The Appiah Stadium was filled to capacity to witness the world champions. Lifted by the passion and occasion of the game, the Samoans were fierce in defence during the opening stages. But Dan Carter capitalised on some home errors to give the visitors an early lead. New Zealand were rusty, but their sloppiness didn't cost them too dearly. This kick from Tusi PC, the only points conceded by the All Blacks in the first half. The visitors had four debutants in the squad, and it was this crossfield kick from Carter that found new boy George Maiola. Under the blazing sun, New Zealand conceded 12 penalties throughout the match, allowing PC to keep Samoan hopes alive. And when former seven star Alafoti Fao Saliva scored, the hosts were within six points of the world champions and threatening an historic victory.
but rising star Nipo Laulaula showed his scrummaging power to win this decisive penalty and put the game out of reach. For the hosts, this was their best performance against the All Blacks in Test history, and they'll be nursing some bruises going into the Rugby Championship. Whilst for Samoa, despite the loss, they'll head into next week's Pacific Nations Cup against the USA with confidence.